if we put 2017 for Ferrari to be as what could have been, then 2018 definitely should have had the title what should have been for the Scuderia. As in my opinion, they earned the title as the fastest F1 car for the majority of the season. But inconsistency from team leader Sebastian Vettel and very poor strategic mistakes from the Ferrari pit wall has led to this calamity in 2018. Now don't get me wrong, the gap throughout the season between Mercedes and Ferrari at the end of the season looking through it was very very close and I'm talking about a tenth of a second in Ferrari's favour. But again, inconsistency from team and drivers has led to a very unsuccessful season and what really should have been for them. And I do know, yes, they did make some very clever strategies throughout the season, like at the US and Australian Grand Prix. But this is Ferrari, for goodness sake. They are the greatest team in Formula One history. And yet, after the last two years, they have disappointed. Haven't won a Constructors' Championship in 10 years and haven't won a, won a Drivers' Championship in 11 years. Not good enough from them. And the icing on the cake to prove this point is the development they tried with the new floor. And it didn't work. And when they took it away, they were the quickest car again. They had a spell where they were just nowhere due to the developments that just proves just making the car less competitive. That's just embarrassing. However, after the British Grand Prix, it looked like Ferrari would be in control of the championship with Sebastian Vettel aiming for his fifth world championship at eight points in the lead with Ferrari heading the constructors and they mucked up. They were very strong at the start of the season. Then Mercedes came back. Then Ferrari looked even stronger until Hockenheim, where, where for me, it was the real turning point in this year's championship. And that race, in my opinion, was their lowest point of the season. They, were, they had a 1-2. Then Sebastian Vettel crashed out of the race pretty embarrassingly in his home race. And it just all went to shreds, basically. And they never bounced back from it. And yes, I know they had two wins after the summer break, but is that enough? No, in my opinion. They had the fastest car in at least probably three or four races after the summer break, and still they did not produce the goods. Ferrari's best race of the season was Silverstone because of the psychological blow it had on Mercedes and Hamilton, and Sebastian Vettel obviously had a great race and Kimi Raikkonen came home in third, their joint best performance of the season. But that feels like such a long time ago. But in my opinion, Sebastian Vettel proved in 2018 that he is an inferior driver to Lewis Hamilton. The Ferrari and Mercedes were almost equal throughout the season with the Ferrari, in my opinion, just slightly edging it. But still, Vettel came off worse in the championship by 88 points. How on earth is he better than Hamilton? He has masterclass drives like at Silverstone, but then he goes and bins it at the next race in Hockenheim. Vettel just lacks that psychological edge and he just makes way too many mistakes. And that's why, in my opinion, he's cost himself at least two world championships in his F1 career. The Germans started the season so well, winning the first two races and then adding to that at the Canadian and British Grand Prix. But it just f he just faded throughout the season. And, it, yeah, again, it's just not good enough from Sebastian Vettel. And, yes, he did have very good drives after the Belgian Grand Prix, his last win of the season. But he's a four-time world champion. You expect better from the German. In my opinion, Sebastian Vettel was better in 2017 because he pushed the car more and got the best performance out of that car more times in 2017 than he did this year. But Sebastian Vettel, in my opinion, definitely maintained that race craft with superb overtakes at the Austri Austrian Grand Prix on Lewis Hamilton and at the British Grand Prix on Valtteri Bottas. So there are very good glimpses that Sebastian Vettel is a top, top driver and deserves his place and title as a legend of Formula One. But his mistakes have led to him, in my opinion, not being in the top five or six greatest drivers of all time because... He should have had so much more in his career, but he bins it. He makes too many mistakes. But going back to 2018, his best race of the season for me was the British Grand Prix. Again, because of the psychological blow he had on Lewis Hamilton. He got a fantastic start and obviously the safety car came out. So he lost the lead to Bottas, but pulled a brilliant move on the finished driver going on to claim his second British Grand Prix win. But Vettel's worst race of the year, obviously, was his next, the next race in the season, which was his home Grand Prix at Hockenheim. 
and people that says, oh, these drivers are under so much pressure, but these are Formula One drivers. They've been doing it for so long, like Sebastian Vettel. And if any, everybody else could keep it on the track, then why couldn't Sebastian Vettel? Now, to sympathise with Vettel, Ferrari did not help him at all throughout the season with some very poor strategy mistakes, and Vettel tried to get those points back, but that still doesn't discount the fact that he didn't need to make the mistakes that he did. Ferrari have to take some of the blame, but Vettel has to take the majority of the blame, in my opinion. He needs to bounce back in 2019, otherwise a world championship dream for Ferrari may almost be gone. After a very poor 2017, Kimi Raikkonen bounced back in 2018 with some very consistent drives. He claimed as many podiums as his teammate Sebastian Vettel and obviously took his first win in over five and a half years at the US Grand Prix. But we cannot ignore the fact that Kimi has also had the best car this season and definitely hasn't extracted the most out of the car throughout the duration of 2018. But at least in his last season for Ferrari, he claimed third in the World Drivers Championship, just proving how much he improved throughout 2018. His qualifying speed in 2018 weren't as good, but in the race, he definitely improved his pace. And although he wasn't a massively aggressive driver, he hasn't really been like that since he returned to Ferrari. But Kimi Raikkonen definitely improved for 2018, and it was great to see him win, and he is that brilliant character that we all love in Formula 1. Kimi's best race was obviously the US Grand Prix where he claimed his only win of the season, getting a great start and then just shooting off in the lead, having to fend off Max Verstappen and Lewis Ham Hamilton under the most just excruciating pressure, but managed to keep his cool and take home the win. But his worst performance of the season has to come at the Canadian Grand Prix where he had no pace the entire weekend. Despite having the quickest car, he was outperformed by Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, both Red Bulls, and even an off-form Lewis Hamilton. And this is the thing with Kimi, he's a very hot and cold driver, and he had too many cold weekends throughout the season, and that cost him about at least 30 points. And I know reliability didn't go his way, like at the Spanish and Bahrain and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, where he could have racked up some solid points, but still, these... There were just too many inconsistent weekend, weekends from the Iceman. With Kimi heading off to Salva in 2019, Sebastian Vettel will be partnered with a superb talent that is Charles Leclerc. And this is really going to put Vettel under pressure and the thing that may stop him from winning a world championship at the Scuderia. And now his teammate Luxury has been gone, maybe we can see how much Sebastian Vessel can be pushed in 2019 but guys that is it for today's video please like and subscribe to this video and channel and until next time guys see you later